this uh, 27 degrees Celsius that little much amount of energy is made available now it's um, the turn to compare the mm, the three conductors semiconductors and insulators according to their energy band diagrams right and this would be answering some of other questions that may arise uh, when we are discussing semiconductors now first of all let me introduce what energy bands are for each orbit there are certain energy levels or bands that are associated with it right and uh, these bands are the only permitted energy levels and electrons can exist in these levels and uh, you must say nowhere else so uh, for a valence orbit this is uh, the energy level is known as valence band and above the valence band there is a band known as conduction band and this conduction band is a band and uh, energy level if an electron attains that much of energy level or if it enters that uh, energy level that is conduction band it will be it is able to move freely within the structure so it is able to conduct electricity indirectly right so we have uh, some of the uh, diagrams all the three diagrams here conductor semiconductor and insulators now let me discuss about uh, insulators first a question may rise that if a f little much amount of energy can uh, make semiconductor to conduct why not insulators now the valence band that is the valence orbit of uh, insulators and the conduction band has a much much larger difference as compared to the to that of semiconductors right and what is this energy difference this is called forbidden energy gap right anything can exist either in this valence band or conduction band but not somewhere in between as I told you that these are the only permitted energy levels and nothing else than that can exist so this is what that valence band will have valence band and the conduction band in insulators have a big difference and this is a certain example that we are quoting here that is 8 electron volts for each electron will have to gain this much amount of energy to uh, move to the conduction band or to get able to uh, conduct electricity so this is not provided at room temperature by the surroundings so insulators are normally um, not able to conduct electricity that is why insulators are not able to conduct electricity even if they are provide a little much amount of energy because that that little much amount of energy is not equal to this much amount of energy so the valence electrons remain in valence band so that is the uh, explanation of the energy band diagram of insulators now uh, I come to semiconductors uh, diagram so we have uh, the gap between conduction band and valence band is uh, of 1.1 electron volt typically for germanium or silicon almost it's uh, similar in values uh, germanium has a lesser value and uh, silicon has a greater value to be uh, informed so what happens is that this energy gap is in fact completed by some uh, or this energy gap is completed by some electrons and they gain enough energy to cross this uh, uh, energy barrier at room temperature so a few electrons can gain that so the conduction band uh, of semiconductors is partially filled that is why they call because there are a few electrons it's not completely filled so it is called a partially filled conduction band so semiconductors conduct electricity but not to that much uh, ease or not to that much uh, support as conductors do now what happens in conductors is that this uh, uh, conduction band and valence band do not have any energy gap they are almost merged so the conduction band and the valence band are almost um, at an equal level so the conduction band is fully filled almost so uh, conduction uh, in conductors is of uh, full strength and the conduction in semiconductors is of a partial strength and insulators do not have any electrons here because the gap as I told you is too much to be uh, crossed so insulators behave as insulators um, in at room temperatures I come to uh, further
Here it is. A 20 cell some electrons gain enough energy to cross the forbidden gamma pore. This is for semiconductors. Um, they therefore enter a higher band called conduction band. And now there comes another interesting phenomenon of hole. Right? What is a hole? Now let me introduce this hole to you. Hole, if I simply say it is, um, <coughs> and uh, um, whenever an electron gains enough energy, it leaves the bond and it goes to the conduction band. So the vacancy that it leaves behind, or the absence that it leaves behind, is known as um, a hole, right? So the I would say when a covalent bond of a semiconductor atom is broken and um, electron moves to the conduction band and it essentially leaves behind a positive charge in the valence band that is called a hole. This is another mm, simplistic definition of a hole. So, so the hole basically has the same charge as I said positive but in opposite polarity. Uh, you know uh, the quantity of charge is similar because uh, when an electron leaves uh, it leaves an equal amount of a positive charge behind. So uh, one more point that it exists in pairs, if electron would leave then obviously there would be a hole creation otherwise there won't be any hole and uh, uh, it lies uh, in the valence energy band and during conduction moves within the valence band. When whenever there is a conduction of uh, electricity, uh, hole also moves and uh, this movement uh, is within the valence band. So uh, that is what all is. Now I go ahead. Now here are some points to consider. Electrons in the conduction bands are now able to move freely and they are responsible for conduction and voltage applied. Now the electrons uh, in the conduction band are normally known as mobile carriers, right? So they are free to move, that is why they are called mobile and they carry, uh, uh, they carry um, the electricity when they move, so uh, when a voltage is applied. Now if we see uh, if we analyze all that uh, the, in, uh, diagrams, uh, in diagrams and the phenomena, we see that there are two types of currents now. One is the movement of electrons that is by mobile carriers and the other is the jumping of um, holes from bond to bond. Uh, the mobile carriers carry the electron uh, uh, move in the conduction band while the jumping is within the wellness band. So and the net current one must uh, one thing must be assured I must say, uh, is the net current or the total current is the sum of both. It's n it's not going to be uh, the subtraction. It's in fact going to be the sum of both the currents, right? So all uh, the discussion about that we've done it uh, shows that holes exist as electron hole pairs. Um, basically, one thing uh, that I must stress once again upon is that there are two types of current. One is due to the movement of mobile carriers that are electrons here and the other is by the movement of uh, holes which are the jumping from bond to bond because they are not free to move so uh, and this jumping will be explained in further diagrams that I will be revealing at the end of this lecture and explaining it once again. Well um, the next phenomena that uh, comes into action is the recombination that I want to discuss here. Uh, recombination is, is in fact a phenomena that uh, it's not necessarily that always electrons will leave the covalent bond and go to the conduction band. It will not be returning back. Some of the electrons also return back by losing energy to the valence band. That is, they will uh, recombine with the holes and neutralize them, right? So this is called the recombination and this happens normally at the thermal equil equilibrium and whenever the densities of both holes and the electrons uh, the electrons in the conduction band and the holes in the valence band are high. So uh, normally you know, what, uh, due to this uh, recombination and one, uh, the thermal agitation of electrons and moving movement to the conduction band, uh, what happens is uh, that the electrons in the conduction band and the holes in the valence band are equal in density. So another fact that is revealed through this recombination phenomena is that electrons and the holes have an equal density. So uh, how this is expressed mathematically, let me show it to you. Here it is. This is um, uh, the density of um, uh, holes, NP, and the density of electrons, NE, uh, is equal uh, because of the recombination of process. And uh, at thermal equilibrium, uh, this is uh, considered to be 
a true exothermal equilibrium and the intrinsic uh, carrier density if i say ni if we express the product of hold density now ni is basically expression for both because both are equal we say ni is equal to np uh, and uh, the which is equal to ne so ni is the general expression for both so if we express the product of hold density and the electron density we see that ni squared is the product right simply and now the last part is uh, to show the movement of uh, holes within the and this diagram is simple to express this red is hole suppose uh, an electron left from this point so what happens is that this is a positive now so this may attract an electron from this part this part or this part uh, for example if it attracts from this part this electron will go to this part and what happens is that this will neutralize this part of the hole and another hole will be produced here uh, just look at the cursor that I am moving uh, at this part so it means uh, uh, and this hole will be attracting this one this electron once again this hole will be neutralized and the electron will be moving to this uh, sorry hole will be moving to this so you see the electrons are moving to this direction and the holes are moving to the opposite direction right so this is the movement so here I show you a yellow uh, colored uh, dot this yellow colored dot is in fact showing the movement of electron uh, that electrons will be moving to this way and the holes will be jumping from bond to bond this way so uh, both of the currents are in the um, uh, will be added uh, to get the net uh, current so this was the explanation of the whole current and this is all from today's lecture um, about the uh, intrinsic semiconductor structure and inshallah we will be carrying it on uh, for the doping in next lectures